So we've got a fellow boater uh, with a Genoa 43DS. DS stands for Dexalon in Maryland. And the boat's called The Office. Love it. Smart. Uh, and this boater, Mick, asks the following question. So he's got a um, alternator. And uh, he, when he starts his alternator, the battery bank is at around 70%. And he knows this because he has a battery monitor, right? Without a battery monitor, he would never know what the capacity of his battery is. So his battery capacity is around 70%. So he's using the Blue Seas M2 state of charge. Battery monitor that I like. It's on our website. Highly recommend it. A little pricey, but it's definitely worth it. Um, and he says, when I start charging, my batteries um, are charging at about 60 amps, and very shortly thereafter, it drops off to 20 amps. Can you explain? So question, let's try to rehash. Uh, Boater has an 80 amp alternator. When the batteries are about 70% of capacity, he sees about 60 amps of charging, but very quickly, it diminishes to 20 amps. What's going on? Well, let's, let's first talk about alternators. Uh, what you see and what you get from an alternator are two different things. It's sort of like your 401k or anything that your financial advisor has promised you in terms of returns. There's a difference between what was promised and what actually happens. And generally those two are not going in your favor. So an alternator is no different. Uh, most alternators, and when I say most, I mean like 99.99% and keep going. Like, I mean, it's probably for like... Only very few of us will have an external regulator on an alternator. So all of us are going to have an internal regulator. That's what our cars have. That's what all the boats from the factories come out with. Um, maybe a Northhaven might have it or a Tierra might not have it. A Celine might not have it. But that's pretty much it. All other boats are going to have an internal regulator. That internal regulator is overly cautious. And what's going to happen is you're going to see that your charger, your alternator output is going to greatly diminish over time because the alternator's regulator, which is what's deciding what amperage is going through the batteries, is being just so careful to not boil the battery, right? Overcharge the battery. So if a boater is asking themselves and wants to increase their charging capacity out of a given alternator, we're doing that today, literally today, I've got a boater who's got a 120 amp alternator, and the weight increase, the output of that alternator, the first thing, is not to change the alternator, but to add an external regulator like the Balmar 614 or the wake speed and add an external regulator to that alternator. That makes that alternator not only a workhorse but also nimble and smart. Perfect combination, right? So you want to have something that can be a workhorse but can also have the intelligence to know when to work hard and when to stop working hard. And you do that with an external regulator. So this question um, from Mick is relevant because he's got a Geno 43, it's 80 amp alternator and he wants to recharge his batteries faster. So the first thing would be actually putting an external regulator. But also know that as the batteries get around 80%, 85% of capacity for a lead acid battery, right, be it flooded lead acid, gel, or AGM, the battery is starting what becomes the absorption, absorption phase. And we know and we have other videos of this three phase charging profile, bulk, means eat as much as you can until you feel slightly full. Absorption, I feel slightly full, but I'm gonna keep eating. Float, I'm so full, but I wanna keep nimbling. That's basically bulk absorption float. And if you're around 80, 85%, you're gonna get yourself an absorption, and at that point, the charger or the alternator is gonna start reducing power output. As the batteries age, that absorption voltage or phase happens earlier and earlier. When my batteries were getting old on my flood of lead acid battery, my absorption wasn't 80, 85, it was like around 70%. So if you're bringing your batteries down only to 70%, you have very short window of bulk charging with an alternator. And that might also be another problem, Mick, is that you're not letting your batteries drain low enough and you're charging too much in absorption. It's okay to bring a flooded lead acid battery down to 50%, and if you do 50%, you're going to have between 50 and 80, 30% 30 of your battery capacity is going to be able to be recharged under bulk. Once you reach 80, it's just going to slow down. By the way, there might be some of these YouTubers are going to post down. I can see them, Jeff, but lithium avoids that. And you're right. That's the advantage with lithium. You can go from 20% of capacity all the way to 100. And your first bite is like your last bite. You're starving the whole way through until you say, ah, I've had enough. And that's the advantage with lithium is that you can basically throw anything at it and it will take it but a lead acid battery will 
push back as the battery gets into the absorption stage. And remember, I mentioned this, but just briefly, just in this video, as batteries age, the absorption phase starts at a lower point. And that's where the batteries, you know, they're like, I can't do it anymore. And think about, I always give the analogy to between people and batteries. As we grow older, our appetite diminishes, right? It's normal. And my appetite when I was 20 and my appetite when I'm going to be 70 is not going to be the same. The challenge is we still assume that batteries with chargers are always charged the same. They're always perfect condition. But the chargers at one point, the batteries can't take it anymore. They can't recharge fast. So if your battery is, you've changed the external regulator, you're in the right stage and you're charging between 50 and 70, 75. If that doesn't work, that's also a sign that your batteries are aging and it might be worth considering bring new batteries that have an absorption voltage higher that gives you a longer charging under bulk charging. So that was a really good question, Mick, and uh, good luck with your project. Thanks for watching this video. Also, we appreciate the feedback. If you've got further questions or ideas on content, post them down below. Remember, sharing is caring, and that's how we all learn. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.